morning everybody today we're back in the Red River Gorge Nada Tunnel the gateway to Red River Gorge or as I like to call it the gateway to adventure the Nada Tunnel was made by the Dana Logging Company lumber company uh, in the early 1900s this is where they brought the logs out and it was uh, named the Nada Tunnel for the uh, logging community known as Nada Today we'll be starting at Bison Way Trailhead. We're going to be doing the Indian Staircase Loop. This hike is a little more difficult hike. Uh, you know your ability and skill level more than me, so just use your best judgment. But if you're afraid of heights, Probably ain't gonna be your hike, but there are great views and some nice features to see. At approximately six tenths of a mile in, Bison Way Trail intersects with the Shelter We Trace. Here, if you make a right, the Shelter We Trace will lead you up towards Corner Ridge. But today, we will be making a lift and working our way towards Indian Staircase. At almost nine tenths of a mile in, you'll come across this post just in the left side of the trail. And as you approach this corner, you can see a user trail starting up to the right. And looks like someone has spray painted an arrow on a tree. Not a fan of that. But this is the Indian Staircase unofficial trail. And that's where we're headed. I might add that once you hit off trail, coming up towards the Indian Staircase, be ready for a calf burner. As you start to get closer to the top of the hill, you'll come to this large boulder. And you see all these tree roots, smaller boulders just to the right of it. That's the route up. And that'll get us up to the base of the Indian Staircase. Once you reach the top of this We'll scramble up the boulders and the roots. You'll get to the top. There'll be a little trail leading over to the left. That's gonna circle up to Indian Staircase. But first, we're gonna go check out this rock shelter over here to the right. As you approach the rock shelter, you'll see a small arch inside. Though not believed to be the historic Trinity Arch. This arch has received the name Trinity Arch. Coming around from Trinity Arch, as we approach the base of Indian Staircase, some of the views start to open up and you can see why this is such a popular area. As you come across, you'll start to see some of the footholds worn into the rock. This is also part of the reason people with heights 
and uh, lower skill levels probably will dislike this hike. Uh, always be aware of your surroundings as it is an open rock face and there is a possibility of falls. Something else I might mention, even though sandstone does offer good traction, don't be afraid to put her in four wheel drive if you need to and use your hands and your feet to climb the staircase. About halfway up, you'll come to this little section here where you can scramble up using this foothold or you can shimmy up using this little tree here. Once you're to this point, you'll see more footholds and this is where you may need to put it in four wheel drive. And here's one of the reasons why this is such a popular area. Let's check out the views. After you reach the top of Indian Staircase and take in the views, you want to start on over this first little path you see to your left. Heads over towards the edge of the cliff line. Work our way over here and see the second arch of the day, which is Shawnee Arch. There are several user trails around the cliff line around through here. You just want to stay around the edge of the cliff line and work your way around to see all the features that are in this area. As you work your way on the round towards the bend in the cliff line, you will come to an opening. This spot here is a pretty popular repelling area. And this is where you will find Frog's Head. Coming around from Frog's Head, you'll want to use a mostly rock user path around through here towards the cathedral, also known as Council's Chamber. At 1.3 miles into the hike, you will reach Council's Chamber, one of the many great rock shelters you'll see on this hike. And it even has a wet weather waterfall. From Council's Chamber, you'll want to follow the cliff line on around. You'll see the user trail. On out here, it will get a little narrower. And the left side does have steep drop-offs. So just keep that in mind. This area here is probably another spot. If you're afraid of heights, you're probably not gonna like. Here is a good example of where the trail gets narrow. It does have a great overlook. As you can see back over towards Frog's Head and Indian Staircase. Uh, there is the edge of the cliff. Here is the trail. Just past that narrow spot in the trail, you'll come to this rock shelter. And this is the rock shelter that's home to Ohm Dome. And here is Ohm Dome. Oh. 
past Dome Dome as we start around the point just before you go uphill back towards the trail you'll come to this nice overlook where you can see back across the Indian staircase unfortunately today I don't see anyone going up it but if you visit this area on a weekend you would uh, probably get to see people climbing up the Indian staircase come back to the top of the hill working away from the cliff line the trail will bring you up to a large campsite and a user trail this user trail circles around above everything we just saw section here with this user trip we're gonna make a lift and head out towards the shelves we trace you shouldn't have any problem following this user trail along this ridge line uh, this trail is actually in better shape than some of the official trails that are maintained at 1.8 miles the user trail will run into the shelter we trace here if you were to take a right you would make your way back towards things like cloud splitter and the suspension bridge today we're gonna keep making the loop and we'll make a left all the shelter we trace out through here for a few minutes less than a tenth of a mile after getting onto the shelter we trace you'll see these two trees that have the blazes on them and arrows pointing to the left that will be the shelter we trace we'll be coming back to this point in a minute but first we're gonna follow this user trail out on the little spur see Adena Arch. As you can see this user trail is a really good trail out through here. This is also one of the things that get people lost in the gorge a lot. They'll come to an intersection and they'll take a user trail just because it looks like an official trail when it's not. So I would suggest becoming familiar with some apps that coordinate with maps that way you don't get lost while you're out here and that way you can keep your track and if all else fails you can always backtrack if you become lost three tenths of a mile from where we left the shelf we trace on the Adena Arch Trail we'll see a rock outcrop come into sight and this is where you'll find Adena Arch and the Adena Arch Overlook. Here is Adena Arch. This is a, not a huge arch but it is a neat arch as you come inside the arch here. You'll see there's a lot of nice geology and there's this large rock that has lots of great color. Be careful when coming inside the arch because as you look to your left, there is a big drop off. After checking out the arch, Make your way to the top of the rock, and this will be the Epping Arch Overlook. As 
you can see, this is another great overlook along this trail. Overlooks the Lady Creek Valley back towards Corner Ridge. Nadina Arch is kind of a midpoint of the hike, so this is always a good spot to take a break for a minute, have a snack, rehydrate, before you start the second half of the hike, work your way back towards the parking area. After leaving Adena Arch, you'll just want to backtrack the way you came. And when you make it back out here to the shelter we trace, you'll want to take the right downhill. We'll soon run into Indian Arch. After going less than a tenth of a mile, you will come to the top of a set of wooden stairs and you'll see Indian Arch. Be sure to come through the arch check out the back side of the arch because this is where you'll find a lot of awesome color and some great geology. Be careful as you come down the stairs from Indian Arch. Seems a couple of these boards are shot. As you follow the trail back around below Indian Arch, be sure to give it a look back up check out the view from below. As you follow the shelter we trace back out on the way to Bison Way, be sure to check out the cliff line along the left side of the trail and you will find some awesome geology. This portion of the trail is a nice woodland hike back down towards Sergeant's Branch. At 3.6 miles into the hike, we will reach the intersection of Bison Way on the shelter we trace. Here we're going to make a right on the Bison Way, head back towards the parking area. We've made our way back to the Bison Way trailhead. I call this the Indian Staircase Loop. The hike, including the little spur out to Adena Arch, is roughly four and a half miles. I hope you enjoyed today's adventure, the Indian Staircase Loop. Got to see a lot of the well-known features of the Gorge area. I had a friend recommend that I do a video of this area. So here it is. Uh, if you have anywhere you'd like to see me hike or photograph, uh, just uh, shoot me a message or leave a comment below. If you would, give me a like, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next adventure. No trip to the gorge is complete without lunch at La Cabana.